plate tectonics. Welcome to this short, quick video on plate tectonics. Now, plate tectonics definition is a theory that Earth's outer shell is divided into several plates that glide over the mantle, the rocky inner layer above the core. The plates act like a hard and rigid shell compared to Earth's mantle. This strong outer layer is called the lithosphere. Now, from the deepest ocean trenches to the tallest, tallest mountains, plate tectonics explains the features and movements of Earth's surface in present time, as well as the past times as well. Now, plate tectonics is, like I said, it's the theory that Earth's outer shell is divided into several plates that glide over the mantle and the, the rocky inner layer above the core. The plates act like a hard and rigid shell compared to Earth's mantle. The strong outer layer is, like I said, it's called the lithosphere. Now, the, this was developed over the 50s through the 70s. Plate tectonics is the modern version of what they used to call the continental drift. Now, the this um, theory was first presented by a scientist named Wrangler in 1912. Now, Wrangler didn't have anything to explain this, uh, explain how the continents were once formed as one and drifted to what they are now or what they were. But science is not, scientists now have come up with this theory. This theory is called plate tectonics. Now, the key uh, principles of plate tectonics is that the lithosphere exists as a separate and distinct plate tectonic, which ride on a fluid-like at atmosphere. Plates motions range up to a typical uh, 10 to 44 millimeters per year on the Atlantic Ridge, which is about as fast as a fingernail grows, if you could actually believe that to about 160 millimeters per year on the NASDAQ plate, which is about as fast as human hair can grow. Now, if you could actually believe that, like just think all the continents were actually just one solid continent. Over these hundreds and thousands of years, they drifted to where they were. I mean, they're still continuously drifting. If you could actually believe that, they are really slowly, slowly enough so we can't really notice it. But just think how far apart they're going to be in another thousand years. They're going to be even further apart. Who knows? They may even join up once again. Now, uh, tectonic plates consist of lithospheric mantle overlaid by either or both two types of crustal metal material. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of tired, but anyway, oceanic crust. Um, average oceanic lithosphere is typically 100 kilometers thick. This thickness is a function of its age as it passes. Um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just, I'm keep going on about this, but I'm, I'm sorry, this video is actually just wrapping up right now. I'll continue on another video on it 